Booth Library, Searching the Historical Abstracts Database. Historical Abstracts is a great tool for researching European and world history. If you are focusing your research on North American subjects, check out the tutorial for America, History and Life. Both databases use the same search interface, and each tutorial offers information that is useful for searching both. To access historical abstracts, begin at the Booth Library homepage. If you are off campus, you may wish to log into your account now using the link at the top left of the page. You may also log in later when prompted. In the main search field, click Explore by Subject. Then choose History. This takes you to a list of resources relevant to your subject. In the top pick sections, you will find a link to historical abstracts. This takes you to an EBSCOhost databases page. Be sure that Historical Abstracts is automatically checked and hit Continue. You are now at the primary search interface for Historical Abstracts. If you have searched in America, History, and Life, you will notice the interface is the same. Keep in mind, however, you are searching different content. Enter a search term to explore. We will start with a broad search and narrow as we proceed. Searching Martin Luther returns 2,268 possible options. You can refine your results using the search boxes at the top, or explore the facets on the left-hand side of the screen to narrow your results. First, let's narrow our search by selecting only peer-reviewed material. This narrows our result to 2,057. Now let's move to the subject listings. Because both Martin Luther and Martin Luther King Jr. are major historical figures, Let's clarify which one we are searching by selecting Luther, Martin, 1483 to 1546. This cuts our results in half, refining our results to 1048. Let's refine further using additional subject terms. Click on the Show More option. This box lists the subject terms associated with our 1048 results. I've selected Reformation and Church and State further down the list. Our results are further refined to 219. As you browse your results, you may wish to use additional facets to redefine your search. Add or remove subject terms as you please. You can also select a publication date range. Look at source types, languages, publication, or publisher amongst others. You may have noticed an option to click Link Full Text. This option limits your results to EBSCO full text articles only, cutting out many results offered through other databases Booth Library subscribes to. Limiting your search in this way may cut out highly relevant results, so use it carefully. Let's have a look at one of our records. When the record is pulled up for review, you will see a list of subject terms. Review this section to see if there are any useful terms you've overlooked. Clicking on one will take you to the results containing that term. Most records offer an abstract for your review. If the result is useful, you can manage it using the tools on the right-hand side of the screen to organize, print, or email the record. If you wish to access the article, click PDF Full Text on the left. You'll be taken directly to the PDF, where it can be reviewed online, printed, emailed, or downloaded. Not all records have immediate access to PDF full text. Let's have a look at this one. Click Get Full Text. Here we are taken to a list of retrieval options. As you can see, the item is available online from Oxford University Press Journals, a database Booth Library subscribes to. Selecting this option takes you to the Oxford site where you can access the article. Other results may not be available online. Let's look at this one. Again, click Full Text. Our retrieval options indicate the item may be available in our collection. Two records appear, but after accessing both, I know we do not have access to the most recent issue. Returning to the previous page, you will see the option to request the document via interlibrary loan. This means Booth Library will try to find the article through one of our lending partners on your behalf. When filling out the interlibrary loan form, note that many fields are auto-populated. Be sure to fill out the required information before submitting. 
This process can take several days, so be sure to take this into account when placing your request. If you have trouble accessing an article, please contact the Booth Library Reference Desk by phone, email, or chat, and we will be happy to help you access the material.